Notice what the breath is doing. Do everything you can not to think about anything else. If your thoughts wander off, you don't have to follow them. The fact that they arise is not your responsibility right now. Your responsibility is if you start, as they say in Thai, weaving them or continue the weaving. Because usually a thought appears in the mind and has a little frayed edge, like a basket that's not completely woven, and so you're going to finish the weaving job before you send it on. Well, that's where you go wrong. Let the thing stay unwoven. Learn to let things stay in their raw shape like that, because that's how you begin to understand them. You begin to see the processes more and more clearly the more you try not to do them. So stay with the breath. Whatever else comes up, you've got to shoo it away, but not so violently that you've lost touch with the breath. Make sure that at least one hand is on the breath all the time as you shoo the other things away. Or you can just let them pass. Think of them as air currents going through the room. You don't have to worry about the air currents right now. They're going to do their own thing. Well, it's the same with these thoughts. that They arise, and then if there's nobody to pick them up and carry them on, they just pass away. And if you remind yourself you don't have to get involved, that puts you in a position above them. Otherwise, all they have to do is whisper, and you go running towards them, as if you're obliged to take a half-formed thought and turn it into a fully-formed thought. So let the thoughts stay unfinished. Because after all, that's what life is like. Life is unfinished. We like to think of life as having a nice narrative arc, like a good story. But you look at most people's lives and they just unravel. And the question is, what are you going to get good out of that? Well, nothing much out of the unraveling, but if you can maintain your state of mind, you can be with the unraveling and not suffer from it. And you learn that this is a lot more important than the stories. The stories have a huge power over our mind. We have to learn how to get past the stories. Stay right here with what's going on here in the present moment. The, the machinations of the mind as it churns out thoughts and acts on them. And you want to be there to make sure that the machinations, are, at the very least, are going in the right direction. And that's why we have to learn how not to get pulled into them. Because once you're in them, then it's like becoming part of any system. Your views get skewed by the system. But if you can stand outside the system, you can see it for what it is. Use it when you need to use it and put it aside when you don't. That's when you're really free, and that's when you're really in charge. <laughs>